what's going on guys shadow hollow here signing in bringing you another must hunter rise video so whenever i'm not using the bow i'm using a great sword so great sword users today i have a build video for you a very powerful build video one that's going to allow you to do over 1600 damage and i'll go ahead and show you that right now hopefully i can get this affinity to proc So boom, there it is, over 1,600 damage. And I'm not even using my power sheet. If you use power sheet, uh, you're gonna be doing even more damage. So I'll go ahead and show you that right now. There you have it, over 1,700 damage. Now I'll go ahead and show you what I'm using. I'm using the Abominable Greatsword, which for some reason, ice weapons in this game seem to have a lot more attack power than the rest of the weapons in this game. I don't know what it is, why Capcom did that, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, this Greatsword does come with negative 15 affinity, which you will see a, a power drop sometimes, but in my opinion, it doesn't happen often enough to actually worry about, so I wouldn't worry about it. Next, I have the Zenogre Helm, which is giving me Weakness Exploit level 1 with one Ice Attack gem slotted in. Next, I have the Remover Suit, which is giving me level 1 Critical Boost. And then I have two Ice Attack gems slotted into there. Next, for the Arms, Rathalos Braces, which is giving me Attack Boost level 3. And then Rathalos Coil for my Waist, which is giving me Attack Boost level 3. And then the Rajang Legs, which is giving me two levels of critical boost. And then I have two Ice Attack gems slotted into this. The Strength Pedalace. And then for my Talisman, I have one that's giving me two levels of Weakness Exploit. And then I have an Ice Resistance, Sun Resistance slotted into this. And you can pretty much put whatever you want at this point. Um, this build is weak to Ice, so I decided to go ahead and try to offset that. And then I had... A slot left so I just put some stun resistance into it but you can swap this out to whatever you want but once you put all that together you will have level 7 attack boost ice attack level 5 critical boost level 3 weakness exploit level 3 and then other than the ice resistance and stun resistance the rest is just a byproduct of the armor pieces that you're using so all in all as you can see a very powerful armor set the last thing that I have to show you is the ramp up skill that I'm using which is ice boost now I tried to use brutal strike and for some reason it I don't think it actually works it might be bugged but it's supposed to increase your attack power whenever you have negative affinity but whenever I was testing it I did not see any type of attack power boost at all so if anybody has a better idea of how this works, please let me know. But as far as I know, it doesn't work. So I just went with Ice Boost level 3. All in all, that's the build, guys. That brings me to the end of this video. If you found this useful, then a like would be much appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. And be sure to subscribe for more videos that I have coming along the way. And make sure you hit the notification button to get notified for whenever I post. But that is all from me, guys. I'm out of here. I'm Shadow Hollow. Signing out. Now I'll see you guys in the next video.